welcome to another episode of Jairus Fishing So today we are at Bedok Jetty Yeah, and uh, quite sure Okay, first things first uh, I tore my cornea lah, that's why it's like that So it will stay like that for about one month Yeah, so to all those people asking uh, Thanks for your concern And uh, I don't know how it happened No one knows how it happens It, it just happened, one day I woke up and yeah la, so maybe I hit or something when I was asleep. Yeah. Okay, so with that out of the way, today we are here at Bedok Jetty. And the point of today is because uh, recently, if you all have noticed the newspaper articles and all that, uh, there have been a lot of reports of uh, blue tide. So you will see like the waves are blue color. Or if you are ruin your bed, then you will see like this blue color trail following behind. Yeah, so what causes that is actually uh, it's a type of algae bloom. La. Yeah, they are called dinosaurs, they are microorganisms. So if you see them at night and you shine light, uh, they are green color. Yeah, so it looks like a whole patch of green. But when upon impact of let's say waves or your bed or your sinker or that, uh, it causes their cell membrane to distort and that produces light. So we call that bioluminescence lessons. Yeah, so that's the blue light you see, the blue type. Yeah, so the point of today is to test whether or not this blue type affects fishing. Right, because uh, I mean there are plenty of theories regarding algae bloom and fishing right some people say algae take up a lot of uh, nutrients oxygen and the fish stuff right other thing other people will say that or oh, because there's algae then it attracts other things to feed on the algae and then bigger fish will come in to feed on them yeah so that's what we're going to test today we're going to see if this blue tide actually affects fishing in here like Bolo Jetty yeah so this is the, basically the east coast park area la. But yeah. I think if you all want to see the blue tide, you can go... You should go to the shore, Changi or Pasiris. Yeah, that's the most, the highest concentration of uh, algae bloom there. Yep, so anyway, we'll get fishing. Bit for tonight is Kelong Sotong, and we'll update you guys again later. I think you think it is ah. Uh. Oh, got the music though. How long ah? Uh? Eh? No, no, no. Eh? Thank you. 
size bar.
Alright guys, so that was a Barracuda. It's a big handle Barracuda. Yeah, uh, about two plus three kilos. Uh. I think maybe maybe have three kilos. Yeah. About three, I think. About three, yeah. Uh, yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, okay, so uh anyway, uh Barracuda okay, some people call Sokun, some people call Hailang. Uh many different names, I just call Kuda, but yeah. And we've been trying to catch them for a while, but we haven't had any luck. I don't know why. Yeah, because we've seen many catch reports and we've been trying we're using uh, big bits and stuff, but uh, somehow they have avoided us. Lah. So I'm very happy with this one. And those of you who watch the channel, you all will know that I like the Maracuda a lot, even though a lot of people say that they are lousy fish. Yeah, but I think they are very nice to eat. Yeah, just a simple pan fry. You feel it, then you pan fry. Then I think it tastes very good. Yeah, so anyway, uh, you can have a look down here. You can see the length of wire, right? These are the teeth of the Barracuda. Yeah, so it actually went down the throat all the way, lah, so the hook was lodged inside. Yeah, so that's why we uh, use wire out here. Because if there was normal leader, then you would have just gone through, lah, you would have bitten through. Yeah, so classic um, Barracuda takes, lah. usually they will run for a certain distance. And they will double back, so they will start coming towards you. Yeah, then you feel like you lose the fish. Then sometimes they will jump on the surface. Yeah, so the reason why they U-turn, okay, some people will say that it's because they're trying to find your line to bite. Yeah, I'm. Um, I don't know how true it is lah, but I've observed it multiple times lah. Yeah, they will really go out and then come back in. Yeah, so you must always uh, real fast lah, keep your line tight. Yeah, so I guess that proves that the fish are still biting. Even though there is the blue tide and a lot of algae bloom everywhere, yeah, so I don't think it really affects fishing, okay, or maybe we're just lucky, okay, but uh, fact is we are still catching fish, lah, so I think the blue tide or not, maybe it's just a matter of luck rather than a matter of algae. Yeah, but definitely do let us know your catch reports if it's better or if it's worse because we are quite interested to find out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this could be a lucky trip. Yeah, because uh, we haven't fished that much or as much as we usually do. Yeah, because of my eye. Yeah, so definitely do let us know your catch reports during this uh, period. We'd like to know whether it's gotten better, gotten worse, or stay the same. Yep. So anyway, we'll keep fishing and update you guys again later. Okay, so we fillet and we, we fillet the kill on the spot lah. I mean we, we clear out the place too. So uh, four fillets. When we cook we still have to cut off the bones lah, the, the chest bones. Yeah so quite nice lah four fillets and I think we made a good meal. Uh, my friend Yeah he loves Kyuda. I love even Kyuda. though Public sentiment is no. usually like Kyuda is like not very good. But Kyuda is very nice. He says Kyuda is better than Angkao. <laughs> so if you agree, comment down below. <laughs> right, so time now is pretty late. Okay, another problem with my eyes is that I need to change my dressing every four hours. So that it's not very convenient, especially when I'm fishing. Yeah, so actually the time now is not very late, it's about 12. But I think uh, it's time to call it a day. Lah. I have to go back and settle this. Yep, so anyway, catch report for today is one barracuda and one uh, small angtoki. Yeah, Russell snapper which we released because it was a bit okay, it was an okay size for Russell snapper la, but I think with the kuda we don't small really la. Yeah we don't really need it so yeah let it just let it go. Yep, so hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you guys in the next episode.